If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey everybody, T1 Glister Elf here. I'm just going to be playing a casual game of Vintage. I'm playing against somebody that happened to join. <laughs> That's about it. Good old untapped.in, just a, a nice free way to test out a deck like this. And what do I mean by like this? Well, this is, uh, this is Jewel Shops. This is quite a deck. This is quite a deck. I'll say I'm keeping. If you don't know what Jewel Shops is, hopefully it'll work out. Hopefully you'll get to see it. Hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. So we're gonna go get that. Let's see. Start off with Tomb. And we're actually just gonna play this key out. And we'll say, pass the turn. Not the most furious of starts, to be sure. Then again, uh, prior to Karn being much of a thing, Seeing an Ancient Tomb and a Voltaic Key was not the most common. Uh, now that Karn is, though, it, it certainly has become it, but like Ravager Shops isn't a Vault Key deck most of the time. Mm. Random synergies like Steel Overseer and Hangerback Walker aside, that's not usually what it's there to do. <clears throat> um, you'll have to apologize if I'm speaking more quietly and I have this gravelly tone. My voice has not been... Oh, Ponder. It's not been great. So, sorry about that. Having some... Plenty of... Plenty of coffee. To, uh... Help keep the pipes clean. At least that's the plan. That's the hope. Normally when I'm doing this, I try to raise my voice and project, because I know that people don't tend to like it when I talk really quietly, even though that is my normal voice. Uh, but... You know, not not too loudly this time. All right, go on and draw. All right, we're going to scooch this on down. Hmm. I'm going to take two here, and we will attempt to get out a lodestone golem. I guess I should have played the Ghost Quarter first, just because Days sometimes is a thing, uh, even though it's very rarely a thing. Uh, nevertheless, I probably still should have. So, I'm trying to hide a little bit of information if I can, but, you know, uh, Days. Days is weird in Vintage, because you have so much fast mana off of Moxen that you're not exactly incentivized to run something like it. Um, I don't know if my, uh, if my opponent knows yet. My opponent's there. Oh, no, my opponent has a... Uh, when this has gone gray, then the opponent is, I guess, AFK. I know there's a way to put in a, a reminder for the opponent saying something to the effect of, Hey, uh, oh, you're back. Maybe. Uh, I know there's a way to ping them to let them know, Hey, I'm, uh, I'm waiting on you. Not sure what that is, though. Let's see. Do 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 Oh, well, they're lit again. Oh. Uh, yeah, so be especially because it's a blue deck. Alright, that's what. That's the, just a miscommunication, that's all. And yes, it could have instead been a Kaldotha Forge Master. I would rather put on the tax. Um, and we'll say pass the turn. And then next turn we'll go into Forge Master and try to try to win from there. This isn't typically how the deck plays, but we're going to hope it is. We're going to hope it gets there. Ooh. 
Hmm. I'm not sick or anything, it's just sore. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. At least there's music to, uh, to get you by. Bolts. Oh, okay. Rip. 2019 to 2019. Yeah, so we're going to draw. Yes, I'll, I'll take the two here. See if this resolves. And uh, if it does, if it does resolve, then we're probably winning the game on the next turn. Uh, we'll play a Phyrexian Metamorph copying uh, one of the Moxen. Well, let me see if it requires sacrifice three artifacts. So it could sack itself. I don't actually have to go that far, but yeah, if it resolves, I can ta sack at least these three, maybe a uh, metamorph, go and get time vault and just win the game. So uh, that's a thing. All right, okay, we got there, we got there. And then I'll pass the turn. Yeah, opponent probably has no idea what's going on. But, uh, you know, they see a key, and they see a Forge Master. So they probably just need to win on the spot. What you got? What's your worst? Do your worst. Dak Fate. Ah, you. Okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. I mean, it's not, but we'll live. We'll make it. Oh. zone here. That's uh, it's not face down, but this is a this is a thing we're doing now. Okay. So play the foundry inspector and then play a two mana Kildotha Forge Master. Am I seeing that correctly? That's the that's the line. I think it is. Yeah, Deck Faden's kind of cool. It really is. Make sure that that resolves. Taking two. Becomes a copy of that. I'll add a note, because that's easier. Kentucky Fried, it's a construct. We're totally doing that. Kaldotha Forge Master, and it's a construct, so that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm working with. Now, we're, we're still not in great shape necessarily, but we're going to win the game on the next turn if the opponent can't do anything about this. There's four. Jace. Mind Sculptor. Oh, okay. Cool. Interesting. It's a uh, land first. And then doing deck fading. I, I don't typically like that. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's fine. It's a casual game. All right, what you got? Anything else? Going to combat? Swinging for 3. Guess I'll take 3. No blocks. No nope. Oh, oh. Oh, that's not what I meant to type. Oh, I'm so tired right now. Oh my goodness. And... 
Ah. Uh, Jeez. What was I... What the thought process made that happen? I, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Brainstorm's good. Yeah, I'm the shop's deck. I don't have to put... I don't have to do the, uh... No response every time. <laughs> you know, when you're a shop's deck and you only have one card in your hand. Gee, I wonder. Gee, I've been saved by Fox. How swell. I would say hello YouTube, but I'm already on YouTube. That's, uh, hello Twitter. <laughs> For that. Oh dear. What is this? What you got? Oh, Tarmogoyf. I got you, bro. I got you. I'm sorry, Dering. Dering? I don't know. I got you. Just pass the turn, please. Pass the turn and let me go off on my, uh, my shenanigans, please. Yeah, you're a 4-5. Should be. That's, a uh, artifact, creature, instant, land, and sorcery. That's a 5-6. 5-6. Artifact, creature... Land, instant, sorcery. You're good. Omae wa mou shindeiru. Nani? Put red green, as you do. Um, activated ability on you, you, and you. Go and get <sighs> time vault. Where'd you go? Where did you go? Just didn't want to get out of there, did you? Oh, for the love of... Oh, are you serious? Are you seeing this? Okay, there. Okay, there it goes. Uh, okay, cool. You know the drill. Game two. Oh, are they gonna make it? Me play it out. All right, I'll say that's all right. It. I take infinite turns with vault key. Time vault gets untapped. By key, then I tap it again. Take all the turns. Is that how you? <laughs> no. It's more than that. I mean, it's a pretty decent combo. <laughs> Yeah, we'll 
You'll get to see it, don't worry. Almost left the game there. Oh, hello, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, my opponent's on blue stuff, so we're going to bring in Sorcerer Spyglass, deal with Fetchlands and Dak Faden. That seems easy enough. Warping Whale, I don't know yet. Uh, Crucible is a fine way to try to grind them out. And we're going to say that's it for now. Let's see what we take out. Found uh, Chalice is really good. Um, you, can, you can tell I have all the energy in the world right now. Uh, I, I really sound like a... Like I'm made of joy, don't I? Sorry about that. Okay, so, um, let's see. We can take out a key. I'm gonna try not to. Uh, Joyra's Familiar is a little, is a little slow. Uh, it's actually not a necessary part of the combo. It's the, like, the weakest piece in it. Um, but I don't know how much creature removal my opponent Sure, we'll, we'll take out three Joyra's Familiar, try to do it for there. Uh, in the future, that actually is going to be, that vol Voltaic Key will be replaced with a Manifold, manifold Key, uh, but it's not legal yet, unfortunately. So, uh, draw seven, and this is, this is fine, it's on the draw, but uh, we're going to be okay. We can do, like, Tomb, Pearl, Sphere... Or, oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. Should we do Inspector first? Um, no, I think I'm supposed to do Sphere and try to slow the opponent down, I think. I mean, I have the fourth mana for Inspector anyway. So I, th I think it's correct. I mean, what, if we do play the Inspector on turn one, it's not like it gives us another play. Uh, that turn. Probably the case that I need. Well, my opponent ju did just show me that they don't actually know the vault key combo, so maybe I can get away with a little more than I think I can. Um, I'm playing against someone who's newer to the the site, as evidenced not just by that, but more importantly, when I played something and was waiting for a response, they didn't know I was waiting for a response. So that's uh, that's an indication. I was there myself too. Coffee. Please. Oh, it's decaf. Oh, oh, it's decaf. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Leroy. I swear, if I just yelled Leroy Jenkins, that would wake me up for a hot minute. All right, that's that's quick and easy. Uh, we're gonna draw. Oh, okay, actually, actually, we can have our cake and eat it too now. We're gonna go uh, Tomb, Pearl, Jet. I need to be careful about how I space that, because if I leave it. Oh, jeez, okay, okay. Oh, are we gonna counter the Pearl? Whoa, oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool. All right. Well, that's that could be worse. Let's see what they're going to do. Yeah, I did just reveal to them I have a jet. Um, but you, usually, if you're playing the blue deck against shops, you hold your counter magic for the the ends, not the means. Uh, um. um It's all good. It happens. I made some stupid mistakes already myself. I don't know in the context of the game if I've made any stupid mistakes, but uh, certainly have IRL. So we're gonna do this. See if you feel like countering the inspector. And if the inspector resolves, we're gonna play the sphere. It does, so we do. 
Yeah, um... Yeah, let's see if that's okay. If that works. And we'll uh, pass the turn. Pass it right on. Alright, folks. Alright. Whale. Okay, so maybe I'm not feeling great right now, but it's a casual game, so it's alright. I'll live. I'll live. There are people that have it way, way worse than I do. Oh, okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. That's supposed to be a period, but... Okay. Oh, God. Well... Uh, unfortunately, I actually don't have game here. Um, because you'll notice I'm going to be one mana short. Oh, wait, 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 I don't... Okay, yeah, no response. There's a sphere. Uh, we're, we're good. We're actually good. That's a thing, unfortunately. Yeah. One mana plus two life. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, they're not dead yet. They have a turn. They have to do it through a sphere of resistance, though. So I, I don't know how that's going to work. Oh, okay, okay. They have a land. They have, they have mana. They're, they're still fighting. They're still in this. That's good. Hey. Merchant Scroll. Okay. Uh. Yes. Yes. Let's see. Oh, uh, what's it gonna be? Sad. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Okay, let's see what they're going to find. It it literally doesn't matter what they get here. Because whatever they get they can't cast, and because they can't cast it, I'm gonna just start taking infinite turns and never give them another turn. So it, it literally does not matter here. There's nothing they could cast, even if there was some hypothetical zero mana untap all your lands. That that wouldn't fly here either. A hypothetical negative one mana spell would be nice. Yeah, no. Nope, got nothing. There's no mana left. Yeah, alright, so we'll do another one. Go back to sideboards, make sure that's right. The best I can tell that's right. I, I don't think Warping Whale makes the cut. It could be a Snapcaster deck, so Warping Whale to exile a creature. Sorceries, uh, we did just see Merchant Scroll, but I'm assuming it's mostly going to be at instant speed, of course. Um, and I don't think we're going to have enough time for something like Worm Coil, so we're just going to keep it in. Hello, that was a quick keep. That was a really quick keep. Are we, st and we're still not gonna see. Wait, I'm deciding, okay. Well this is uh, entirely all in on the turn one Lodestone Golem. 
What could possibly go wrong? I mean, actually, it's fine. We have Wasteland Ghost Quarter back up, so if it doesn't work out, we'll live. We'll live, I think. Um, you know, as you do. Oh, Pithing Needle. Okay. Gee, I wonder what they're going to name. Actually, yeah, it could be Voltaic Key, it could be Time Vault, it could be Kaldotha Forge Master. Uh, they named Pithing, or they named Voltaic Key. Fair enough. Good choice. In my estimation, not the best choice, but they also don't know what this deck is. Oh, God. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it to him, folks? We are so going to do it to him. We are 100% going to do it to him. Alright, so we're going to waste him here. Yeah, and and they, they know where this is going. Alright. Uh, get that in the yard first. As you do. Get out our mana rocks. And then pass the turn. Get out the mana rocks now. Just on the off chance that they try to counter. What's weird to me is that they use the Pithing Needle. I, I know that they suspect, I think that they suspect there are more keys in the deck than Time Vaults. But, oh, and there's nice, easy little Ponder. Uh, but they also have Mental Misstep still in their deck, which hits Voltaic Key. So that makes it a little odd that they went for Key um, instead of Vault or Master. I don't think that they've seen the, the gravity of... No, they haven't seen the gravity of Forge Master yet. And unfortunately, in this game as well, it looks like they're not going to. Like, we haven't seen anything that the deck looks like it would actually try to do. This is this is a weird game from me, unfortunately. So we're going to draw, and yes, we hit a Mox. We get to live the dream. I was about to say, if we hit a Mox, we can just... One, two, three, Crucible... This had better not resolve. Opponent, this had better not resolve. Why do I never draw my sapphires? <laughs> you got me on that one. Is Crucible alright? Let's see. Well, now I get to start being a jerk. Shoutouts to April King. Your opponent can't cast spells if they don't have any lands. Alright, so now the opponent, you know, basics or fetch into basics, or just hold up your fetches. And then... Okay, there, there don't you crack it. Okay, we're good. They did not. Alright, alright, alright. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay here. I believe that I would like to get the wasteland out of the yard. And use it for a lodestone golem. I believe that that's correct. Oh, we got a response. Please, for the love of God. Okay, now we're going to do something. It's one mana, what's it going to be? Um, you can't bolt it in response. So... What? Okay, okay. Watch there be some stupid, like, force spike. Um... Okay, okay. That's not the one that they meant. <laughs> it's all good. One more, please? My deck is being weird tonight. <laughs> your deck is pretty rude. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're not wrong. Sure, why not? I'm a sucker for pain. Uh, I got that one too. So, uh, sure. Okay, they shuffled a whole lot. Yeah, like so much it doesn't even show where I shuffled. It does auto. Okay, okay. We haven't. We have an actual game, and by actual game I mean 
Well, sure. I mean, we're actually going to see the deck the way it was supposed to be played. Alright, show me what you've got, opponent. I'm going to go turn one, uh, tomb sphere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep. What I meant. Sorry for not being clear. Alright. Hey. Now we have spell pierce. Don't pierce me, bro. Let's uh let's do this. See what happens, as if I don't know. Spell pierce. Hey, got there. Called it. Past turn. That's a little unfortunate for Academy, but uh, Lightning Greaves is fine. Lightning Greaves will live with this. Uh, and it actually can be good for us, because that means that when we try to go off with Coveted Jewel... Oh yeah, Coveted Jewel. This is a card you haven't actually had a chance to see yet. Uh, we're going to have an easier time. Merchant Scroll. No, Pyromancer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's... That's no good. That's no good. Well, this is going to hurt. Yeah, that's what I have to do, I think. I don't want them to just Xerox spam me. Which, you know, they... they could anyway, but uh... Does this deck not have Force of Will or something? I haven't seen a Force of Will at all. Uh, I don't know. I really don't. Okay, so... If I play the Academy, we're gonna be one man away from casting a Coveted Jewel, which means I'm gonna have to use... Oh god, I'm gonna have to use that again, aren't I? to make a, uh, a lightning greaves. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Young Pyromancer is, uh... uh wait, wait, wait. Dude. Uh, it's late. Your deck is absolute cancer. You're not wrong. Alright. Why is it not letting me? Hello? Chrome? Untap? What's going on? Could I have done differently? Alright, uh-oh. Why is this happening? Could you please pass to me? Alright, cool. Draw? Ah, okay. Nice. Nice! Could I have done differently? Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's... That's a trick. Okay. Okay, we got there. We found... we found Vault. Uh, but... You actually probably had me. And here's why. One, two, three, four. 
coveted jewel. Draw three. One, two, three. Now remember, that Mox Jet costs three. This Trin Sphere is actually kind of hurting. And this is probably going to die. And this dies. Untap. Draw. Okay, no. Ancient Tombs are out. I'm basically just demonstrating the combo turn. Sorry. Alright. So we've drawn. No. Granted, we now have a... Oh, crap. Get it. Get back here. Get back here, bud. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? We have six mana here. One, so seven mana, and I'd like to hold off on the academy as long as I can, for obvious reasons. Yeah, actually, never mind. Never mind, we got there. Jewel Shops, it's called. Coveted Jewel Combo, basically. Uh, eventually, it gets Blight Steel with Greaves or Valky. It's mean, I admit. I can play another deck. I have uh, another vintage deck in here too. I actually was not expecting this to go as well as it did. When I saw that game one deck, that, uh, that really got me. That really got me.